If there's one thing movie studios never underestimate, it's the power of a name, a brand, an IP, a character. You tell people when the next Avengers or Batman movie is coming out, and they'll book tickets weeks in advance. Well, as you tell them about something lesser known like Mad Max or Ant-Man, they probably won't even know the movie's out until it's been in theaters for a week already. And even though trends come and go, I feel like one subgenre that will be popular no matter what decade, what generation, what age, will be the giant monster movie. Creatures from our world that seem otherworldly, wrecking havoc on us mere mortals as we try to figure out how we stop them before they destroy the entire planet. So a better combination of using the giant monster genre and name recognition than Godzilla vs Kong. Now in my opinion, that's a title that sells itself. Godzilla and King Kong are two of the most recognizable movie creations ever. And with the title suggesting that they are going to fight each other, how can you say no? This is a movie I was looking forward to ever since they first announced it and ever since they gave us a little tease at the end of Godzilla King of the Monsters. However, a name, a release date, and some promo art isn't enough. You have to show a bit of footage to assure the people that this is a real thing, and not something that someone mentioned in passing that it might be a cool idea. They're not trying to bamboozle us. And after a surprise announcement that they would actually be moving the movie up from May of this year to March, they also dropped a trailer. So without further ado, let's take a look. I've heard of starting things off with a bang, but that's ridiculous. This is our only chance. Now there's theories that that's Mechagodzilla in the background. And I have to say, that's some pretty eagle eye observation, but again, we'll have to wait and see what's going on. We have to take it. That must be some big ship if they're carrying Kong at this size. We need Kong. The world needs him. To stop what's coming. This sounds familiar. Didn't they need Godzilla in the last one to kill... What was the name? The three... The, the Hydra? The three-headed dragon? It's escaping me now, but in the last movie, they said they needed Godzilla. And now, it seems that they need Kong to stop Godzilla. I'm gonna be honest, it looks cool, but I'm a little bit worried. And this child... She's the only one he'll communicate with. What is it with kids being the only ones who can talk to giant monsters in these movies? I knew that they had a bond. She had nowhere to go, so... So I'm guessing she ended up on the island somehow? And I think that, in some way, Kong did the same. Holy moly, he became a big boy. In the last one, a fully grown human could fit in the palm of his hand. But now it seems like he could just crush them with his thumb, like... like an ant. Oh, there's that choir again. Even Kong is scared of this guy. Even with giant monsters, the adage, talk shit, get hit, rings true. Why do I hear boss music? Oof, now that's how you start a fight. The music choice is throwing me off just a little bit. I mean, I'm half expecting Dwayne Johnson to fly in with a helicopter to bring in George from Rampage into the fight. These are dangerous times. These are also confusing times. What I'm like about this trailer is that it's wide open and it's very bright. The more persistent complaint of the last movie, as well as the first Godzilla movie, was it was too dark to see anything. But now it's like, okay, we're gonna just give you all the lights. Godzilla's out. Oh hey, this guy's back. He's hurting people and we don't know why. Power going to his head, maybe? I mean, he is king of the monsters. There was a war. Yo, are we going to get some flashback with a bunch of Kongs fighting giant lizards? Because that would be pretty cool. Also, I feel like that's some spoiler for the third act of the movie. For greatness because I'm from it. That's zoom in, though. Kong bows to no one. Neither does Godzilla. Whew, now that's a money shot. Okay, so 2021. Nothing about March or May 2021, although it is supposed to be March. So yeah, I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. Looks like there's going to be a lot of action. Uh, looks like a lot of it will be brightly lit and or take place in the daytime. So it fixes the main issue that people have with the other two Godzilla movies. 
However, I hope the reason that we found find out why Godzilla is attacking people isn't some stupid Mothra reason. Regardless, I am hyped for this one. Uh, I'm like really looking forward to it, and and I'm just glad we finally have some footage of it. So yeah, that's my review slash reaction of the Godzilla vs Kong trailer. I'm always interested in what other people think, so tell me in the comments down below. And uh, that's all there is to it.